CC Twister is found under the transition category and I've set up two different photos to transition from one to the other here, and I'll apply it to the first layer. The completion slider is what drives the entire effect, and as I move this from 0 to 100, the layer twists around in 3D. But currently, it's showing the same thing on the back side as it is on the front side, so it's not really transitioning into the second photo. But we have this backside option with a drop down menu, so I'm just going to choose pick two, and now my second layer is showing up on that backside. So going from the first layer to the second layer. So I can actually turn off the second layer so that it's not visible behind that transition. And I'll just move it to right about here where we can take a look at the rest of the controls. We have the ability to change the center point of the transition. So if I move this point around, I have a point control and I can just shift this up and down, left and right. But this works in combination with the axis or the angle of the transition. So if I moved this to a different angle, and then move this center point around, you can see how it's aligning itself to a 90 degree angle of whatever the axis is. So if I set this to zero, then it's going to work on the X axis, moving that twist point around the comp. And then adjusting this completion slider will have the transition move through that point. And we could animate this too. If I move this all the way over to the left and set a keyframe on the first frame for the center property, move forward a couple of seconds and move this all the way to the right side of the frame, and then I'll do the same thing with the completion slider. I'll go to the first frame and set that to zero, set a keyframe, press U to bring up my keyframes, shift, click and drag to snap to the second one, and then set this to 100%. Now the transition is animated. And we could keyframe even more things. If I wanted to animate the axis as well, I could set a keyframe there, go forward and change this to any number. I play that back. And now I have an even more unique transition. Now the only other control we have is this shading checkbox. If I turn that off and back on, it just adds a little bit of highlight and shadows to this 3D transition to give it just a little bit more depth. We don't have any lighting controls, but we can turn it off if we don't want it. But that's all there is to CC Twister. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.